Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about a problem you might face uh, while using generative fill in Photoshop. So let's get started. So if I use generative fill, you can use generative fill in many ways. So this is one way. So using crop tool, let's say if I use this generative expand option and click on generate. So you may see this message. Please check your internet connection and try again. I will show you once again using some different tool. So let's say if I select this one and give a prompt like diamond earrings and generate. So you will see the same message again and again. So there is nothing wrong in your Photoshop. So there is a setting which needs to be corrected. So I'll deselect this first. So go to start button and type windows. So we are going to open the windows defender firewall. And in this firewall, this setting is right now it is turned on. So we need to turn this the two settings. We need to turn those two settings off. So I'll click on the turn windows defender firewall on or off. So these are presently on. So we need to turn this off if we want to use the generative fill option in Photoshop. So turn off windows defender and turn off windows defender firewall both press. Okay. Now, once these are turned off again, go to Photoshop and try and use the same things that you were trying to use. So first I'm going to use the generative expand option. So again, I will expand this photo and click on generate. So as you can see, this worked perfectly and you can also choose the different options that you have been given in generative fill and you are still not happy. You can again press generate to see more options. So I think this number three looks good, looks realistic. Let's see first one. This also looks good, but I think this one looks closer to reality. So this one again, I will show you another thing. So let's say if I select this one and let's say I want the same thing. So diamond earrings. Did I spell it wrong? So as you can see, it works nicely. So you can choose different options and if you are not happy with the result, you can again, you can again try more generate options. So, but that option didn't occur this time around. So we just need to turn these two options off and your generative field will work nicely. So this is how we can uh, handle the error that which, uh, which occurs while using the generative field option in Photoshop. So, that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye and cheers.